Today we're taking a look at the VFly Whoop Series charging board. This is a charging board to help you manage your little one cell batteries for your tiny Whoops and micro drones. Now, one of the features of this board is that it comes with BT 2.0 connectors. You could plug it straight in and it keeps it nice and sturdy. But in case you're not running BT 2.0, it's also got the classic and more common connector PH 2.0. I should note a word of caution, do not plug in a PH 2.0 battery and a BD 2.0 battery into the same port. You can, for example, plug in a BT 2.0 into charging port one and a PH 2.0 battery into charging port two, but never have them share the same port. So let's say you have three batteries you wanna charge. I'm gonna turn the knob to the 3S. Now I'm gonna connect each battery one by one. One, two, three. All right, so now I've got my charger and I connect the XT60 first, then connect the balance cable. My charger sees it as a 3S battery. So all I have to do now is set the charge mode. I'm gonna choose LIHV because in this case, these are LIHV batteries. Okay, since I have three batteries and they're close to 300 milliamp hours, I've set my current to 0.3 amps because again, the charger is viewing this charge board setup as if it is a 3S battery of, of about 300 milliamp hours. Now, while we're on the subject of current, I want to point out this warning. Do not charge over 1.5 amps. Okay, so we've got a fuse for safety, which is excellent. It's a five amp fuse. So you got plenty of headroom there. However, the knob is only rated for 1.5 amps. So don't charge over 1.5 amps. And really you should not usually have a reason to charge over that amount. Because again, this is a series charging board and most of your Whoop batteries are gonna come in at well under a thousand milliamp hours. So, and that's pretty much it. Really simple, really easy to use. The really cool thing that you could do with this board is not only charge, but also discharge and set to storage charge, which is your 1S batteries need to be taken care of just the same as your larger ones. And if you don't, then they will go bad. So it's really nice to be able to use this board to put them into storage. Now I will say that this is not the first time that we've seen a series charging board. The Fractal charging board has been around on the market for a lot longer. However, VFly has made some key quality of life improvements to this concept. There's this little jumper pin that comes with the board and you use the jumper to indicate which uh, you know, how many batteries you're charging. Whereas with the V-Fly, you just use the knob. And one of the problems with the jumper is that, look at it, you can lose it. So that right there is a, is a really big peeve for a lot of people with this board. It's pretty much solved with the knob. You're not gonna lose this thing. It's, it's on there pretty good. It's, it, it's kind of big, but that is what it is. Supposedly this knob delivers uh, pretty decent consistent current. So that's why they went with the knob design over something like a switch. And the other nice thing is we talked about it. It's got a five amp fuse, whereas the fractal board doesn't have any fuse at all. And it, uh, you're already good to go with BT 2.0 connectors on this. So that's really, really nice as well. And uh, so with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this little overview of the VFly Whoop series board. I want to thank VFly for sending this out to me to Allow me to show here for you guys and uh, let me know if you have any questions. And as always, have a great day. I got to do some whoop battery charging now. So you guys take care.